dear friends today we celebrate our founders day or institutions day this is a special day and a day to thank and praise the lord for all his choices blessings upon our institutions and the entire father muller family as we honor our founder reverend father augustus muller on his 182nd birth anniversary we reflect on the commitment and dedication he exhibited to see his vision of a christian ecumenical dream come to reality with the motto heal and comfort the legacy of father augustus muller continues today through all of us today as we celebrate our founders day or institutions day honoring our founder may god bless us with all the spirit of commitment and generosity of heart to serve the suffering humanity with compassion and selfless attitude may god bless all those who enter the portals of our institutions with health and be enlightened staff and faculty be dedicated and students be filled with wisdom knowledge and strength to carry out his mission of healing with love and compassion today we have with us most reverend dr peter paul saldana bishop of mangalore diocese and president of father muller charitable institutions as the main celebrant of this solemn mass so we cordially welcome our bishop and all the priests who will be concelebrating in this mass kindly rise for the entrance hymn
in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit peace be with you we have already heard in the introduction the purpose for which we are here to thank god for all the good things he has done through this institute through the instrumentality of the founder father augustus muller as we are here to celebrate these sacred mysteries let us call to mind our sins and ask pardon I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Let what I ask be forgiven and forgotten, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May your unfailing compassion, O Lord, cleanse and protect your church. And since without you she cannot stand secure, may she be always governed by your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. In those days, Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and in high favor, because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria. He was a mighty man of valor, but he was a leper. Now the Syrians, on one of their raids, had carried off a little girl from the land of Israel, and she worked in the service of Naaman's wife. She said to her mistress. Would that my lord were with the prophet, who is in Samaria, he would cure him of his leprosy. So Naaman went in and told his lord. Thus and so spoke the girl from the land of Israel. And the king of Syria said, "Go now, and I will send a letter to the king of Israel." So he went, taking with him ten talents of silver, six thousand shekels of gold, and ten changes of clothing. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, which read, "When this letter reaches you, know that I have sent to you Naaman, my servant, that you may cure him of his leprosy." And when the king of Israel read the letter, He tore his clothes and said, "Am I God to kill and to make alive? 
that this man sends word to me to cure a man of his leprosy? Only consider and see how he is seeking a quarrel with me. But when Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his clothes, he sent to the king, saying, Why have you torn your clothes? Let him come now to me, that he may know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came with his horses and chariots and stood at the door of Elisha's house. And Elisha sent a messenger to him, saying, Go and wash in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh shall be restored, and you shall be clean. But Naaman was angry, and went away, saying, Behold, I thought that he would surely come out to me, and stand and call upon the name of the Lord his God, and wave his hand over the place, and cure the leper. Are not Abana and Farpar, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned away and went in rage. But his servants came near him and said to him, My father, it is a great word the prophet has spoken to you. Will you not do it? Has he actually said to you, wash and be clean? So he went down and dipped himself seven times in the Jordan, according to the word of the man of God. And his flesh was restored like the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. Then he returned to the man of God, he and all his company, and he came and stood before him. And he said, Behold, I know that there is no God in all the earth but in Israel. The word of the Lord.
According to Luke, to you, o Lord. at that time, when Jesus had come to Nazareth, he said to the people in the synagogue, Truly I say to you, no prophet is acceptable in his hometown. But in truth, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heavens were shut up three years and six months, and a great famine came over all the land, and Elijah was sent to none of them but only to Zarephath in the land of Sidon, to a woman who was a widow. And there were many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha, and none of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When they heard these things, all in the synagogue were filled with wrath, and they rose up and drew him and draw him out of the town and brought him to the brow of the hill on which that town was built so that they could throw him down the cliff but passing through their midst he went away the gospel of the lord My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, once I visited a place, a place where people come for water therapy, where the waters coming from the streams 
originated from the mountains is harnessed. And uh, there are five different types of water with different types of minerals. And the man there was explaining how these waters have curative power. People come there, they stay for a while, a few days, drink water, and also have the bath in those waters, and many get healed of their skin diseases or other deficiencies in their body. We know there are certain hot springs, and these hot springs also have curative power. There are places where certain type of clay is curative, and people smear that clay on the body and thus get healed. We have a wonderful place in Lourdes, for example, where there are many baths. People from different parts of the world go there, remove their old clothes, put on the new ones, fresh ones given by that little sanctuary, and have a dip three times. They get a dip wash in those waters and many miracles are reported. More than 60 authenticated miracles explained by the doctors that medical science is unable to explain how this has happened. God's intervention is possible using the natural means and already Elisha has discovered the water therapy that time. I could say in the first reading, as a prophet, he tells Naaman the Syrian that if you go and dip seven times in the waters of Jordan, you will be healed. We are standing on a ground where once the leprosy hospital was. And uh, here is the place where so many were healed for years and years. This ground has been made holy by our own brothers and sisters suffering, their pain and anguish, their abandonment, and that their reality as unwanted, unloved, uncared for. On such holy ground, people were taken care of, especially those who suffered from that Hansen's disease, which we commonly called leprosy. And one such event is narrated to us in the book of Kings. Naaman goes to a prophet, listening to the voice of a small girl, a slave girl. Rarely it happens that the master of the house would listen to a servant. But here is a commander who would think even this little girl could tell him the right direction of his life. And he believes her. He goes to another country with a letter of recommendation from his king, his lord, to another king, king of Israel. And then you heard the story, how it is narrated. Elisha was a prophet, prophetess, one who speaks for somebody, one who proffers words, speaks out the words in the name of God, one who becomes the mouthpiece of God, one who reveals the will of God, one who unfolds the designs of God to the people, one who calls the people back to the covenantal relationship, reminds them constantly of their relationship and God's relationship to them. And this was the task of a prophet which Elisha was doing not only towards the Israelites, but here is a man who was not an Israelite, not a Jew, but someone outside the fold of the Jewish nation. Yet, he believed in the words of this little girl and showed what is the power of faith, how faith could be so omnipotent. We have thereafter a beautiful episode, how the whole thing happens. The fear and anxiety of the king of Israel. Am I God to heal him from leprosy? But then Elisha hears the anguish of the king, sends for the 
Syrian commander and the even doesn't even come out of his little cottage sends his servant telling him go and tell Syrian to have a bath seven times again now the faith has come low he fails to believe because he was having an idea of God who would like like a vending machine I press the button and this is what should happen Naaman thought he would come out put his hands on me or he invoke the God whom he believes in and then there will be healing but it doesn't happen that way God is not a God which is a machine vending machine that he would just fall in line with the eye images or our perception of him he is a God of surprises and thus he was very angry he couldn't stomach that but then his servants tell him look you are a commander you would have done greater things perhaps if you had asked a greater challenging thing you would have done it then why not this one to have a little bath in the river Jordan he understands again listens to the smaller ones and then has the bath and it is said that the skin of Naaman turned to be the skin of a little child so tender so tender so beautiful what does the event tell us that our God is a God of surprises he is not acting according to our whims and fancies rather we have to fall in line with his design and when we do his will things happen all for our good many times many things don't happen as we expected but it does happen that as God expected for us for our good it does happen in the right time at the right place what is needed is to believe we have a little episode in the gospel reading today from the gospel of Luke Jesus was talking to them they were all surprised at the way he spoke quoted the scripture narrated the events but then when he told them look you are not believing your faith is very shallow rather those whom you call unbelievers they believe in a greater measure and he quoted two cases the woman of Sarepta Sarephat and the widow and Naaman the Syrian both outside the fold of the believing nation which angered them terribly to that extent that they would even become murderers if Jesus had not escaped from their hands he showed clearly by that little act that they were not really believing they chose to kill him then to believe in his words what about us we are here as believers do we really believe the belief of faith means to surrender belief means offer our total self in the hands of God to have faith means to accept what is said by him in the scripture is true I believe it is true these words which are said there they are true and I abide by them I surrender my intellect and will I give my total self in the hand of God that is belief I believe Augustus Miller coming all the way from Germany had this faith and he began the whole venture of Father Muller's his knees which is now standing in his name under a banyan tree that he could think that shade under the banyan tree could grow to this large extent he had a great vision prophets are also visionaries they could predict the future of course it has been it should be revealed first to them and how this particular man thought of us I heard some stories that in the early times when people from richer society came to me said no you go to those other hospitals around here there are other hospitals for the rich people who can afford but my hospital is for the poor my first my hospital is for those who don't have much to give they maintain their spirit in a major great measure of receiving the people giving them care concessions and in many way coming to the aid of our people he believed 
not so much in making a lot of money, but he believed in reaching out the maximum number of people. And we are in this holy ground, my dear brothers and sisters, that God has chosen this particular place to live in and to grant his healing and comfort to many people through our instrumentality, through our instrumentality. God many times does not choose the qualified people, but qualifies those chosen ones. Many times there may not be experts here in all the fields. There may be good doctors, experts elsewhere, yet God could give healing touch through our touch, a healing, powerful healing, even through our little prayer. I remember once, I don't want to name the doctor, in this hospital who took the child from my hand before taking the child to the surgery, surgical unit to the operation theater, first putting the hands on the child. He was seven years old, praying over him. Then he took the child to the surgery because he was crying and yelling, never wanted to go. But then after the prayer, he just went with him. I don't know how this happens. It is God's work. And there were many here and there are surely many here who believe in the power of prayer and power of intercession. Today, therefore, as we are here celebrating the Foundations, Founders' Day, Institutions Day, let us believe that God has granted us powers, power to heal, power to comfort. If we Christians believe that little water, which is blessed by the priest as healing powers, the holy water we call it, holy water, healing powers are there in that water, why not our touch, our smile, our word, even those have healing powers and they can also bring health and comfort to our people. May Father Muller help us, intercede for us to give the best. We have one little catchy statement, work as if everything depends on you and wait on God for results as if everything depends on him. Work as if everything depends on you and wait on God for results as if everything depends on him. Let us rise and place before our God our intentions and petitions. Your response is, Father, hear our prayer. Gracious Lord, we pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, bishops, priests and religious that they may become the authentic messengers of your good news by their word and deed. We pray. Father, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, India. Bless our political and religious leaders that they may uphold the preamble of our constitution and thus work for the cause of development, peace and harmony. We pray. Father, hear our prayer. On the 182nd birth anniversary of our founder, Reverend Father Augustus Muller, we are privileged to celebrate the institution's day today. Bless the President, Vice President, Director, and the priests of the institutions, the governing board members, and management committee members. Grant them the wisdom of making right decisions at the right time for the growth of the institutions. We pray. Father, hear our prayer. We pray for our students, doctors, nurses, paramedics, religious sisters, wardens, and all the employees of our institutions. May all of us be inspired to work for the cause of healing and comforting. Thus, our work and care may bear positive results and fruits. 
May we find joy and satisfaction in serving selflessly the needy and suffering humans. We pray. Father, hear our prayer. We ask you to bless the sick and suffering with good health. Touch the physically, mentally and spiritually sick. Grant them the grace to endure their suffering. Bring them back to the joy of good health. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, that we may not lose sight of the Lord's passion, death and resurrection, while observing the Lenten discipline, and that we may prepare ourselves worthily to receive the blessings of our Lord Jesus. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayers. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your people may turn to you with all their heart, so that whatever they dare to ask in fitting prayer, they may receive by your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. May what we offer you, O Lord, in, in token of our service, be transformed by you into the sacrament of salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adore and power tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co host to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ lord jesus christ who said to the apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say a word and my soul shall be healed
Let us pray. May communion in this your sacrament, we pray, O Lord, bring with it purification and the unity that is your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. May your right hand, we ask, O Lord, protect this people that makes entreaty to you. Graciously purify them and give them instruction that finding solace in this life, they may reach the good things to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Dear friends, wishing all of you the greetings of our Founders' Day. Today we celebrated the 182nd birth anniversary of our founder, Reverend Father Augustus Muller. May our founder continue to inspire us to work towards the motto of the institutions, heal and comfort. The grave of our founder is to my left side, it is decorated. Kindly pray at his grave and draw inspiration. On behalf of my brother priest in the management, the faculty, staff and students of our institution, I express my sincere thanks to our bishop, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, for presiding over this Eucharistic sacrifice and also for preaching a very meaningful homily. Thank you, Bishop. I also acknowledge the presence of the governing board members and members of the management committee and thank them for their continuous support. My sentiments of gratitude to our faculty, staff and students of all our colleges and also all our well-wishers for taking part in today's Eucharistic celebration. Thanks to the melodious choir group of our institution, students from all our hostels. They are trained by Professor Suraj Narona. I am grateful to him and also I thank Father Ajit Menezes, the administrator of the medical college, for organizing the choir. Special thanks to Mr. Wilton, staff of Speech and Hearing College, for playing the keyboard and for all the singers, I am grateful to you. Grateful to Sister Shilpa, the warden of the hostel, for her assistance in today's liturgy. We express our greetings and thanks to our readers, audiovisual operator and altar servers. After the final hymn, the cultural program will be held in our convention center. We request you all to join the procession from the uh, premises here in front of me uh, to the convention center. And soon after that, we'll begin the program and followed by dinner. Kindly come and share in the joy and greet each other on our Founders' Day. Thank you. Kindly rise. The Lord be with you. And May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
टेस्ट टेस्ट हेलो 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 हेलो
ಕಂಕನಾಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಲೆ ಎತ್ತಿ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯಿಂದ ನಿಂತಿರುವ ಫಾದಮುಲ್ಲ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಕಂಕನಾಡಿ ಇಂದು ಹಲವಾರು ಶಾಖೋಪ ಶಾಖೆಗಳನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದ್ದು ತನ್ನ ಹಿರಿಮೆ ಗರಿಮೆಗಳಿಂದ ಉತ್ತಮ ಸೇವಾ ಕೈಂಕರ್ಯದಿಂದ ಎಲ್ಲರ ಗಮನ ಸೆಳೆದಿದೆ ಆರೋಗ್ಯವೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಲಾಂಛನ ಸೇವೆಯೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಗುರಿ ಎಂಬ ಧ್ಯೇಯದೊಂದಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ವರ್ಗದ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಅತ್ಯುತ್ತಮ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಸೇವೆಯನ್ನು ನೀಡುತ್ತಾ ಬಂದಿದೆ we commence today's program with a ceremonial procession led with pomp and joy by the beats of the band followed by the president director and managing committee members of fmci kindly rise 182 varshagala fadamulla seva samsthegala samsthapakara dinada aacharanege adduriyada swagatadondige baramaadikollona indina karyakramada mukhya atithi pooja adhyaksharu ಆಡಳಿತ ಮಂಡಳಿಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗುರುಗಳು ಹಾಗೂ ಸದಸ್ಯರು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಎದ್ದು ನಿಂತುಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ
ಮೇಲೆ ದೇವರ ಅನುಗ್ರಹ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ಹಾಗೂ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಕಾರ್ಯಗಳ ಮೇಲೆ ಯಶಸ್ಸನ್ನು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನಾ ಗೀಲೆ ಗೀತೆಯ ಮೂಲಕ ಬೇಡಲು ಬರುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪಾದಮುಲ್ಲ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ತುಂಬೆಯ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಗಳು I request you all to stand as now we have the team from Father Muller Hospital Tumbe who will lead us all in invoking the blessings of the Almighty with a prayer song. classical dance forms of india like bharatnatyam kathak kathakali mohiniattam and manipuri will now be witnessed by you all as i call upon the very very graceful dancers from father mulla college of speech and hearing to the stage for the welcome dance bharat da shastriya nritya paddhatigalalli hesarada bharatnatyam ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಭಾರತದ ಜನಪ್ರಿಯ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರೀಯ ನೃತ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾರವಾಗಿದೆ ಈಗ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ನೃತ್ಯದ ಮೂಲಕ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರನ್ನು ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸಲು ಬರುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಫಾದಮುಲ್ಲ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಗಳು
our director, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coelho, will now address us with the words of welcome. Gavraviyotta Atithi Ghalannu, Pooja Adhyaksharannu, Hagu Sarvarannu, Adara Purakkavagi Swagatisalu Barutiddare, Father Mulla Seva Samsegal Nideshikarada, Vandaniya Father Richard Coelho Ravaru. Good evening to all of you and greetings of 182nd birth anniversary of our founder, Reverend Father Augustus Muller. 13th March every year is a great day for us. Earlier, when the academics were going on well in the university, we used to hold graduation ceremony of all our colleges. But now, due to some reasons, the entire academic year is delayed and exams are conducted in different times and therefore we are not able to conduct graduation ceremony together like unlike the previous years. But still, the day, 13th March, is a great day of devotion and also of celebration for all of us in the institution for the Mullahs. By paying deep sentiments of gratitude to our founder and it is because of him that today this institution stands as a mighty tree, not only in our state, but in our country and across the globe. It's not easy to steer these mighty institutions, but always God's grace and His mighty hand is on us and therefore we are able to move further and take steps of progress every year. The burden of this institution is shouldered by our Bishop, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana. He is the President of these institutions and his guidance and especially his blessings gives us a great impetus to shoulder with him the responsibility of these institutions. Most Reverend Bishop, a simple person, a very humble person and having soft corner towards the sick and the suffering in a very special way even from the times of his seminary studies and even now. He constantly visits the sick people in the hospital, priests, sisters and other people also. Dear Bishop, you are presiding over this program today. You celebrated the Eucharist for us as a Thanksgiving Mass and now you are here with us to spend your time with us to encourage us and to give us your blessing. On behalf of this institution, and all gathered here, I accord a cordial welcome to you, Bishop. And I request our Dean, Dr. Anthony Silvan de Souza, to offer our Bishop a bouquet of flowers as a token of our love and appreciation. With a big round of applause. I have my collaborators priest in the management, administrators, assistant administrators and chaplains. We all work together and they share the responsibility of these mighty institutions. It is because of their collaboration and cooperation that we are able to move every day further and therefore I thank all my collaborate priests in the management and accord a cordial welcome to all of you, dear fathers. 
I acknowledge the presence of the governing board members. Some of them are present here and others are not able to come due to their some other commitment. But however, their great support to us always by attending meetings and giving their valuable suggestions along with the Father Mullah Centenary Charitable Society. The members are here present. I accord a cordial welcome to our members of the governing board and also of the management committee. For the day-to-day -day affairs, we have a management committee headed by the director, administrator, assistant administrators and dean and principals of our various colleges. Thrice in a week we meet to discuss the various uh, problems as well as uh, discussing how to go about and uh, plan for the institution, both academic and non-academic programs. I thank them for their generous support and also they are here. I heartily welcome you all, the management committee members. The heads of the department of our various colleges and also of the hospital. They are the people who look after the day-to-day -day affairs of the institution in their respective departments. I cordially welcome all our HODs and also all in charges of the hospital uh, at FMCI in all the four campuses. Hearty welcome to all of you. Our students, they are the backbone of the institution because the students keep our campus lively and vibrant, be it liturgical services, paralytical services, and in the colleges. Their role is very, very vital and important, and their contribution to the institution is also unforgettable. And therefore, I welcome all our students who are present here and who are yet to come here. Hearty welcome to all of you. And also, there are so many people who have sent their wishes, our well wishes, our friends, our donors. All of them, they pray. Though they may not be physically present here, every day they offer prayer for our institution and also pray for our patients. And therefore, I am grateful to all of them and heartily welcome them all. I should not forget our patients who are our stakeholders. They are the people and because of them we are here in this institution. It is our concern uh, to give them the compassionate service and therefore uh, from different places they come here and take the healing touch and go uh, happily uh, to, uh, to their respective homes. I thank all our patients and their attenders and in their absence I welcome them all. I just want to also thank this Founders Day uh, we planned uh, nearly two months ago and we had planned sports and games to all our faculty. The cultural program uh, by all our faculty of different colleges and also the reception committee who looks up uh, who is uh, uh, who has taken keen interest in uh, today's uh, dinner for all the arrangements first the chairman of uh, sports and games committee for the roshan krasta administrator of the homeopathy medical college and hospital and hpd along with his team with the um, physical instructors and all others, the committee members. I am grateful to all of you for the Roshan and your team. So also the chairperson of cultural committee headed by Father Jeevan Sikwera and his team. There are so many members in the team. It is not easy to bring all together and practice this cultural event today. Father Jeevan and your team I thank all of you. Father Nelson has headed the uh, team of uh, 
uh, dinner arrangement today the reception committee and food committee chaired by father nelson and his team i thank father nelson and his team for all the arrangements so also there were people others for the um ajit minajas the chaplains the hr manager and all others have collaborated and cooperated so thank you all of you for your generous support and for your generous support with this i thank each and every one of you have a wonderful evening welcome to all of you thank you father our hearts are contented with your loving words of welcome and extending a warm welcome to you too father just one word in kannada uh, ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ಬಾಂಧವರೇ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾಪಕರ ದಿನವನ್ನು ಇವತ್ತು ನಾವು ಆಚರಿಸುತ್ತೇವೆ ಕಳೆದ ಎರಡು ವರ್ಷಗಳಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಈ ಪೀಡೆಯಿಂದ ಆಚರಿಸಲು ಆಗಲಿಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ಈ ಸಲ ನಾವು ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾಪಕರ ದಿನಾಚರಣೆಯನ್ನು ಆಚರಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಸಹಕಾರದಿಂದ ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿ ವರ್ಗದವರಿಗೆ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಸುಸ್ವಾಗತ as a mark of respect and honor on the occasion of 182nd birth anniversary of reverend father augustus muller sj on behalf of the father muller family a floral tribute will be paid by the president of fmci most reverend dr peter paul saldana and the management committee members i invite the president and the mc members to do the honors iga namma samsthaya samsthapakarada vandaniya father augustus muller sj avara bhavachitrakke ಹೂಗಳ ಗೌರವಾರ್ಪಣೆಯನ್ನು ಸಲ್ಲಿಸುವರು ಪೂಜಾಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರು ಆಡಳಿತ ಮಂಡಳಿಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗುರುಗಳು ಹಾಗೂ ಸದಸ್ಯರು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಎದ್ದು ನಿಲ್ಲೋಣ the classical dance forms of india bharatnatyam kathak kathakali mohiniattam and manipuri will now be witnessed by you all as i call the very graceful dancers from father mulla college of speech and hearing to the stage for the welcome dance bharatada shastriya nritya paddhatigalalli hesarada bharatanatya dakshina bharatada janapriya shastriya nritya prakara vagide iga ಸ್ವಾಗತ ನೃತ್ಯದ ಮೂಲಕ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರನ್ನು ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸಲು ಬರುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಫಾದಮುಲ್ಲ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಗಳು ಜನನ ಜನನ ತನನ ತನನ ತೋ ಜನನ ಜನನ ತನನ ತನನ ತೋ ಜನನ ಜನನ ತನನ ತನನ ಜನನ ಜನನ ತನನ ತನನ ತೋ ಜನನ ಜನನ ತನನ ತನನ ತೋ ಜನನ ಜನನ ತನನ ತನನ ಗೀ 
College of Speech and Hearing staff for that splendid welcome dance. May I now request the Bishop of Mangalore Diocese and the President of FMCI, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, to share his message on today's joyous occasion. Yojanigalu Nuraru Savali ge takkante badalavane anivariya Samsiya pragati ge rupi suva yojane chintanatma ka wagira beku. ಅಪೂರ್ವ ವಾಗಿರಬೇಕು ಎಂಬ ಆದರ್ಶದ ಅರಿಕಾರ ನಿರಂತರ ಚಿಂತನಶೀಲ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಕಂಡ ಒಂದು ಶಕ್ತಿ ಆದಂತಹ ಧರ್ಮಾಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರು ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಧರ್ಮಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾಂತ್ಯ ಮತ್ತು ಪಾದಮುಲ್ಲ ಸೇವಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾದ ಅತಿ ವಂದನೀಯ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪೀಟರ್ ಪೌಲ್ ಸಲ್ಡಾನರವರು ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರನ್ನೂ ಉದ್ದೇಶಿಸಿ ಎರಡು ಮಾತುಗಳನ್ನು ಆಡಬೇಕಾಗಿ ವಿನಂತಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೇನೆ Dear Father Director, Administrators, Assistant Administrators, Members of the Managing Committee, Governing Board, the Deans, Heads of various faculties and uh, staff, Professors and uh, doctors, nurses, everyone present here. Wish you a happy Founders Day. and uh, the blessings of this day i am really happy to be present here to be part of this celebration for the mullah hospital is a name which has carved a niche in the minds of our people not only in karnataka mangalore all over india people know about this institute however long is the history but it has always come up to the expectations of our people 
it's the hard effort of the management and the faculty student body and everyone connected with this institute it is a common dream i would say that all of us are part of it it's many times i get the request to find a place for them whether in the as a student body or in the faculty in some way or the other some people ask from different states asking to have a place for them in the for the mullers there are many reputed institutions all over india certainly but our institution is very unique with the motto heal and comfort and uh, we give that specific touch of uh, friendliness humane ways of dealing and kindness to the people and this kindness and gentleness which is often used by pope francis as tenderness tenderness to understand what tenderness is we go to a little child or a little plant the twig of a plant a little shoot the tenderness so soft and so delicate and such tender care is part of our whole ways of going about in the institute here in the hospital in the medical college allied health sciences everywhere this is and this should be always the key word that should resound in our minds and hearts only thing is sometimes with the workload and the duty and heaviness of the responsibility laid on us we might sometimes become very tired and those tender feelings may not be there in the end of the day at the end of the day but then we must always say i am here because my call the mission is calling me to be here everybody else will go early but i will finish my job perhaps some people think of other commitments i must hurry up but then first place of commitment is to this hospital i know sometimes it happens no doctors or others having clinics you have to go early but then you are the permanent members here and those of you who are permanent members not part time as full time as certainly have to fulfill the obligations and also the part timers have to fulfill the obligations even at the end of the day that smile has to be there on your face mother teresa in one of her speeches used to say sometimes it is very difficult to smile but i have decided to smile it is very difficult to smile at times when patients are irritant or they ask the same question again and again or they are anxious about their healing and after several times you explain them still they would ask the same question and there we may find difficult to smile mother teresa's words should echo in your heart it's difficult to smile today is a heavy day but i have decided to smile a smile takes us a long way and it builds and bridges the hearts and i believe that should be our way a service with a smile should be always our motto together with heal and comfort because that's how we communicate our spirit with the spirit of the other person we always say we are spirits in the world we are spirits in the world we are not merely body flesh if tomorrow i lose my limbs hands and feet yet still i am a full person a peter paul i don't get a reduced person that shows that something that gives me integrity not merely the limbs bodily parts every person has this great inner vast dimension of being a spirit which can communicate which can have a rapo with people and people sometimes gauge whether we love them or not by the very expression on our face they may not be highly educated people our patients our clients but they can gauge whether this particular person is happy with my presence or not as doctors as nurses as the faculty as a student body 
everybody expects from the other this kindness tenderness welcome warmth and i'm sure a hospital should be known for this professionalism is one thing but tenderness should accompany always in all our dealings and commitment certainly is the uh, key word sometimes i ask my students search in the dictionary in the column c in the column c you will have many many good words virtues commitment courage concern care you go on you will find so many in the c column or the pages which has the c in the dictionaries and many of those virtues are very very handy in the hospital ministry may your daily life be bright may your service be fruitful and may your lives be happy god bless you happy founders day thank you your lordship for the confidence boosting presidential message recalling our motto of heal and comfort and i also kindly request our beloved bishop to remain on the stage for a little while longer as we have a video release of the department of physiotherapy for world down syndrome day the department of physiotherapy father mulla medical college had conducted an event for children with down syndrome and differently abled under the patronage of father mulla charitable institutions and eminent sponsors in the year 2022 which was a grand success thus the institutions had declared to make it an annual event to bring out a change in the mindset of society and to provide a platform for promotion of specially able children and to integrate them into the mainstream of society we are proud to present to you this year the father mulla charitable institutions sponsored annual event embolden under the guidance of father mulla medical college a program which aims to exhibit the myriad of talents of our special children through a cultural bonanza aiming to make them feel comfortable and proactive I request most reverend Dr Peter Paul Saldana president of FMCI to do the honors by releasing the video Il 21 marzo è anche la giornata mondiale sulla sindrome di Down Purtroppo però non abbiamo tanti motivi per festeggiare Thank you your lordship Ladies and gentlemen now let us all sit back relax and enjoy all the colorful and energy packed cultural events lined up for the evening by the staff of different units of our institutions Usually while picking a dress or while painting we select the colors which attract our attention which again is dependable on our mood right So here we have the team from Father Muller College of Nursing and School of Nursing to kick start the culturals for this evening with a rainbow dance depicting the colors of the rainbow and the emotion it represents. Kamana billina bagge nimge gottalva Kamana billanu nodadi iruvavaru yaru 
ಏಳು ಬಣ್ಣಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಏಳು ಚಿತ್ತಾರಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಜೀವನವನ್ನೇ ಸೆರೆ ಹಿಡಿಯುವಂತಹ ಅದ್ಭುತ ಪರಿಕಲ್ಪನೆ ಕಾಮನ ಬಿಲ್ಲು ಇಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಕಾಮನ ಬಿಲ್ಲು ಹೇಗೆ ನಿರ್ಮಾಣವಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಇದರ ಏಳು ಬಣ್ಣಗಳು ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಎಂದು ನೃತ್ಯದ ಮೂಲಕ ಹೇಳಬಯಸುತ್ತಾರೆ ಫಾದಮುಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಮತ್ತು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಗಳು ತೇರೆ ಬಿನಾ ಕ್ಯಾವಜೂದ ಮೇರೆ ಬಿನ ಅಬ ರಹಿ ಸಕತೆ ತೇರೆ ಬಿನಾ ಕ್ಯಾವಜೂದ ಮೇರಾ ತುಝಸೆ ಜುದಾಗರ ಜಾಯಂಗ ತುದ ಸಿ ಜಾಯಂಗೆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇದೆ 
for the very radiant and kaleidoscopic performance. Next, I call on stage the team from Father Muller Homeopathic Medical College and Hospital for the theatrical mime performance, portraying the very history which has manifested into our glorious FMCI, which we know as Life of Father Augustus Muller. Sumaru, Nura Embateradu Varushagala Hinde, Father Augustus Muller, Embuvaru, Aramisida Samse, Father Muller Aspatre, Father Augustus Muller, Nadidu Bandahadi, Embudara Bagge, Mukabinaya the Mulaka, Namagellarigu Torisalidare, Father Muller Homeopathy Sibandigalu.
Check. 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 Bangalore, a small city of coastal Karnataka on the banks of Arabian Sea, fastest growing suburb, encircled by a necklace of rivers. Here comes the Queen of Arabia, culturally vibrant, diversely elegant, a garden city hidden in coconut groves, the modern city of Mangalore. Every story begins at the dawn of its own past. This story of New Mangalore cannot be told without mentioning the name of Reverend Father Augustus Mullah, one of the founding fathers of modern Mangalore. He loved the sick and served the suffering. He bridged the crippled classes and castes, rich and poor, with the message of Christ. We, the team of Father Mullah Homeopathic Medical College, presenting to you with pride the living legacy of Father Mullah. Early days, traditions in Mangalore were tampered with superstitions, fears and myths. Every sickness had a supernatural origin and so healing remained an act of divinity. Ignorance, illiteracy superseded with darkness. Leprosy was considered a curse and lunatics were considered possessed. tides of Arabian Sea came the luminary from the west with the compassion in heart, mission in mind, skill at hand and zeal in soul. Reverend Father Augustus Muller, whose arrival pushed back the dark ages of Mangalore. Reverend Father Augustus Muller, a healer by heart, yet started his profession as a teacher. He famed in French and mesmerized with mathematics at the portals of St. Aloysius College. He understood the pulse of every student and imparted every subject with love. Farming was the chief occupation in Mangalore. They were sowing and reaping, irrigating and harvesting. They were coming together to work, collaborate and to yield. Amidst this, they ignored the critical concept of health and hygiene. They were not just sharing the love and care, but something obnoxious. This brood of innocence became a breeding source of dreadful infections.
with the rise of poverty illiteracy and ignorance emerged the most dreaded disease of mankind across all ages leprosy leprosy not just crippled the body but the hopes and lives of many all those who are loved by leprosy were rejected by the community leprosy captivated the minds of people and gave birth to a stigma of fears that killed humanity in so called humans as light dispels darkness the true light of knowledge that penetrated the darkness of ignorance as father mulla stepped in to shield the sick with his homeopathic medicines under a banyan tree in the hills of kankanadi a beginning that is only possible to those with a calling he extended his helping hands to those with hands crippled with leprosy Reverend Father Augustus Muller a man called out of the darkness into the marvelous light of Lord continued to derive and revive in the presence of God his heavy and burdened heart always made lighter in the presence of God he served the mankind and gave God the glory of empathy cemented with the love of Christ Reverend Father Augustus Muller gained the room in the hearts of the locals and then came to light a boon for the bain St Joseph Leprosy Hospital a glow torch of resurgence for those who lost in hope The legacy of Father Muller grew in glory, spreading the horizons in versatile branches with every petal open to encompass the sick and the suffering humanity, then, today and forevermore. Heroes come and go, but the legends are forever. Reverend Father Augustus Muller lived a life of a legend leaving behind his legacy with the motto of heal and comfort Thank you team for reminiscing the birth of FMCI Let us now welcome the team from Father Muller Medical College and Hospital for the very upbeat performance presenting the glimpses of different eras of Bollywood along with a light-hearted skit. Nataka matun ratya da mula ka nammellarannu manoranjisalidare Father Muller Medical College and Hospital sibandhi galu.
एक ऐसे मुकाम है जो सारी दुनिया को एंटरटेन किया है और अब हम आपको एंटरटेन करेंगे जब तक तुम मेरे साथ हो मुझे मारने वाला पैदा नहीं हुआ मामा हमको साल में एक ही बार चांस मिलता है इधर डांस करने को और इस बार को सिर्फ मिनट ही दिया है और वो भी बॉलीवुड टीम को और तुम इधर टाइम वेस्ट कर रहे हो अरे चल भाग बॉलीवुड अरे वो क्या जमाना था श्रीदेवी माधुरी नरगिस मुमताज मधुबाला करने का तलवार निकाल के ऐसे गुस्सा दूंगा 
बॉलीवुड को भूल जाएगा धमकी अरे मुन्ना भाई को धमकी दे रहे हैं अरे सर्किट सर्किट <laughs> इधर तो साला बॉलीवुड का ही शॉर्ट सर्किट हुआ है अभी टॉलीवुड कॉलीवुड सैंडलवुड को कॉपी करके ही बॉलीवुड चल रहा है अरे मामू कॉपी कौन कॉपी कर रहा है रे? पीछे देखो, पीछे। <laughs> काई को टेंशन करता है तो रुको जरा सबर तेरी झलक शर्फी श्री बल्ली नैना मदक बर्फी तेरी झलक शर्फी श्री बल्ली बाते कर दो हर्फी अरे चलना ए! क्या हो रहा है बॉलीवुड कॉलीवुड टॉलीवुड सैंडलवुड जो भी वुड हो इस वुड को फुट मिलता है उनसे जो सामने बैठे हुए इन प्रेक्षकों से हम स्टार बने करोड़पति बने ये इज्जत शौरत सब इनके बदौलत है सो डोंट शो गमन जस्ट डिमांड देर आशीर्वाद हम सबका एक ही मकसद है ये वुड वो वुड सब छोड़ के मिल के करेंगे उनका एंटरटेनमेंट 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 और एक बात एंटरटेनमेंट में बॉलीवुड झुकेगा नहीं सर फादर जी एक मिनट एक्स्ट्रा दे दो ना यार हम लोग वाट लगा देंगे बहन 
के जोड़ा लाल कलर का तूने मचाया खूब तहलका बाय गॉड तू लगती है जैसे स्विमिंग पूल में फूल कमल का चल दिखा जरा जो तेरा डांस मूव है सुन जरा मस्त ग्रुप है मामला फूल प्रूफ है सोनी दिल पे गिरी एक जोर की बिजली लौंग का तेरे जबलिश का चमका 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 शोमी दुमका for such an exuberant and entertaining performance i guess they deserve ra- another round of applause i now invite the team from father muller medical college and father muller college of allied health sciences for taking us on a small journey through western ghats to witness lavni garbha Kodava Baila and Yakshagana dance forms all club together as a wonderful dance performance this evening Yakshagana vu nritya haadugarike maatugarike vesha bhushana galan nalagonda uddu swatantravada shastriya kale anteye garba kodava karvi intaha aneka nritya prakara galondige nammellarannu manoranjisalidare father mulla vaidyakiya college mattu ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲ ಅಲೈಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಗಳು ಜಾಯ ರಚಿಯಾ ಕರ್ಬೆ ಕಿ ರಾತ್ ಮೇ ಚುಡಿ ಕಾಯ ತುನೆ ಆಧಿ ಬಾತ್ ಮೇ 
चाय रचिया कर बे की रात में चुड़खन गाए तूने आधी ही बात में कर बे की रात पिया छुड़के मेरा जिया कह देना आज तू है मेरे साथ Oh, my God. 
ಆಟವಾಡಿದರು ನೀರಾಟವಾಡಿದರು ಸರಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾರಸನೆ ಪ್ರಿಯರು ಸರಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾರಸನೆ ಪ್ರಿಯರು ಆಡಿದರು ಆಡಿದರು ನೀರಾಟ ಆಡಿದರು ಸರಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾರಸನೆ ಪ್ರಿಯರು ಸರಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾರಸನೆ ಪ್ರಿಯರು thank you all for that mesmerizing performance well the audience is in for a surprise today a melodious one rather any guesses let us all find out what it is i very happily call on stage the team of institution fathers of fmci for a melodic rendition please welcome them with a round of applause ella kaligalannu ellaru ramisu ella kaligalannu ellaru ramisu ella kaligalannu mola sangeetha ಸಂಗೀತ ರೋಗಗಳನ್ನು ಸಹ ನಿವಾರಿಸಬಹುದೆಂದು ಹೇಳುತ್ತಾರೆ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರನ್ನು ಸಂಗೀತದ ಮೂಲಕ ಮನರಂಜಿಸಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ
हेलो हेलो
the very harmonious song sung by an institution fathers is dedicated to our beloved director reverend father richard aloysius coelho and what they have implied by singing this song is likened to the bible where the shepherd leads his flock and the, as the king looks after his people and like the parable of the lost sheep every single person counts for our director father's dedicated services to our institutions is noteworthy as he leaves no stone unturned when it comes to attending matters of father mullers his dedicated team of fathers in the management or for that matter staffs or students thank you once again to all institution fathers for that rhythmical performance It is my privilege to invite Mrs Jyoti Pinto Human Resources Manager FMCI for announcing the winners list of the various sports events held in view of Founders Day Samsthapakara dinacharane angavagi erpadilisaladantaha atota spardhegala vijitara hesarugalannu manava sampanmula adhikariyada Shrimati Jyoti Pinto avaru goshisabekagi kelikollutene respected dignitaries and my dear colleagues greetings and good wishes to you on the joyous occasion of founders day i think we had an amazing performance isn't it i think we can give ourselves a big round of applause i deem it a privilege to give you a brief account of the sports and games events held in honor of our founders day during the past one month the events were flagged off by an inaugural ceremony with the top management and members of the sports and games committee spearheading the event participants and teams of all our units were present our director Reverend Father Richard Coelho addressed the gathering with a message of following the sports protocols with team spirit and bonding together as Father Muller family. The events were held under the able leadership of the Sports and Games Committee chairperson Reverend Father Roshan Krasta. The various sports events included throw ball for ladies volleyball for the male staff members lagori for female staff badminton for men and women by way of league matches with fathers in the management being team leaders athletics which included shot put running race walking and relay tug of war for men and women cricket match for male staff we also had lucky games sport games and housey housey on two consecutive days so as to make it convenient for all staff to attend our director administrators assistant administrators and chaplains set the mood cheerful and bright by being present all along with the committee chairperson reverend father roshan and the committee members they upheld the father muller family crest with not only their support but also by competing in many sports events and bagging quite a few medals and trophies for the benefit of the audience i now announce the runners of the sports events kindly give them a big round of applause the runners of throw ball staff of college of nursing the runners of volleyball hmc staff runners of lagori father mulla medical college office staff runners of badminton mulla smashers headed by father ajit minezes the runners of tug of war gents team were mno a group and tug of war ladies team runners were father mulla college of nursing staff runners of cricket match staff of hpd derlekatte 
May I now request our Sports Committee Chairperson, Reverend Father Roshan Krasta, to please escort our President, His Lordship, Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, and I request our Director, Reverend Father Richard Coelho, to please be on stage to give away the trophies to the sports winners. In all, we had over 1,000 staff participation in the sports, athletics, games, events, and we have given away over 450 prizes this year. All this would not have happened without the motivation and inspiration of our management and behalf of all the staff here, I wish to convey a big thank you to them. We also thank our sponsors, Mrs. A.R. De Souza, who through the good offices of Sister Helen Lewis sponsored over 100 prizes for a lucky and sport games contest. I now announce the winners. Winners of throwball match, staff from Central Lab. Please come forward. Winners of volleyball, Muller Strikers, please come forward, Muller Strikers. Hunters, led by Father Jeevan Sequera. A round of big applause. Winners of Tug of War, Gents Category, Cafeteria Staff. Please come forward. Tug of War Ladies category, The Rocking Girls. Lagori, Staff Central Lab.
Mullers of Cricket, Muller Mavericks. All these events have been made possible and successful by two special people who toil hard in the sweltering sun throughout the sport events. I request the dignitaries on the stage to present a memento to our physical directors, Mr. Chandrasekhar and Mr. Chenna Keshava, for conducting the sports events in a very meticulous and professional manner, keeping the team spirit alive. Thank you, Your Lordship. Thank you, Director. Thank you, Father Roshin. Thank you, ma'am. A big round of applause. As we have reached the end of a very vibrant evening, I feel privileged to propose the word of thanks. I thank the Almighty for blessing us all to come together to celebrate our Founders Day this evening. I pay my gratitude to our President, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, for gracing and presiding over today's program. Thank you, Your Lordship. I thank our director, all the management committee members, faculty, staffs of FMCI institutions for being a part of this evening. Thank you all. I am ever grateful to the cultural committees of all the institutions who chalked out a marvelous feast of programs under the able guidance and meticulous supervision of Reverend Father Jeevan Sequera and Mrs. Jyoti Pinto. Thank you, Father, and thank you, ma'am. I thank all the staff involved in the technical, media, and logistical arrangements. Thank you all once again. Surya Hutti Damele Hege Mulugale Beko. ಹಾಗೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವು ಪ್ರಾರಗ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಗೊಂಡ ಮೇಲೆ ಅದು ಅಂತ್ಯಗೊಳ್ಳಬೇಕು ಮೊದಲನೇದಾಗಿ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವು ಸುಸೂತ್ರವಾಗಿ ನೆರವೇರಲು ಕಾರಣಕರ್ತರಾದ ಸರ್ವಶಕ್ತ ದೇವರಿಗೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬಿಡುವಿಲ್ಲದ ವೇಳಾಪಟ್ಟಿಯಿಂದ ಸಮಯ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತಿಯೊಂದಿಗೆ ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಮಿಸಿದ ಅತಿ ವಂದನೀಯ ಧರ್ಮಗುರುಗಳಾದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪೀಟರ್ ಪಾಲ್ ಸಲ್ಡಾಣ ಧರ್ಮಾಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರು ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾಂತ್ಯ ಮತ್ತು ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರು ಫಾದಮುಲ್ಲ ಸೇವಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಇವರಿಗೆ ಪ್ರಾಮಾಣಿಕವಾಗಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಅರ್ಪಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಈ ಸಮಾರಂಭವು ವೈಭವಯುತವಾಗಿ ಮುಕ್ತಗೊಳ್ ಮುಕ್ತಾಯಗೊಳ್ಳಲು ಕಾರಣರಾದ ಫಾದಮುಲ್ಲ ಸಮೂಹ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರಾದ ವಂದನೀಯ ಧರ್ಮಗುರುಗಳಾದ ರಿಚೋಡಿ ಕುಯಲೂರವರು ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಬಲವಾದ ಬೆನ್ನೆಲುಬು ಎಂದರೆ ಅತಿಶಯೋಕ್ತಿಯಾಗಲಾರದು ಎಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ಅಚ್ಚುಕಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುವ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಾರ್ಯಕೌಶಲ್ಯ ಶ್ಲಾಘನೀಯವಾದುದು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಆಡಳಿತ ಅವಧಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯು ಪ್ರಕಾಶಮಾನವಾಗಿ ಮುನ್ನಡೆಯುತ್ತದೆ ಎನ್ನಲು ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಎನಿಸುತ್ತದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು 
ಈ ದಿನವನ್ನು ಅದ್ಭುತ ಮತ್ತು ಸ್ಮರಣೀಯ ದಿನವನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದಂತಹ ಗೌರವಾನ್ವಿತ ಆಡಳಿತ ಮಂಡಳಿಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ಧರ್ಮಗುರುಗಳಿಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಅನಂತಾನಂತ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಈ ದಿನವನ್ನು ಸ್ಮರಣೀಯ ದಿನವನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದಂತಹ ಆಡಳಿತ ಮಂಡಳಿಯ ಸದಸ್ಯರಿಗೂ ಆಹ್ವಾನಿತರಿಗೂ ಫಾದಮುಲ್ಲ ಸೇ ಸೇವಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾರ್ವಯ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುತ್ತಿರುವ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿ ವರ್ಗದವರಿಗೂ ಎಲ್ಲ ಶಾಲೆ ಕಾ ಶಾಲಾ ಕಾಲೇಜುಗಳ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೂ ವಾರ್ತಾ ಮತ್ತು ಪ್ರಸಾರ ಭಾರತಿ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಮಾಡಿದವರು ಊಟೋಪಹಾರ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಮಾಡಿದವರು ಹಾಗೂ ನೆರೆದ ತಮಗೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಅಲ್ಲದೆ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷವಾಗಿ ಪರೋಕ್ಷವಾಗಿ ಸಹಕರಿಸಿದ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ತುಂಬು ಹೃದಯದ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ to wind up this beautiful and memorable evening the management has laid out a sumptuous dinner for all of us i request most reverend dr peter paul saldana to say grace before the meals and bless our dinner now seviswa aaharada mele devara aashirwadagalannu beedalu namma ati vandaniya dharma gurugalada dr peter paul saldana ralli nanu keli kollutene in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit god our loving father you always provide for us you think each one of us and you grant us what we need today on this special occasion as we are gathered here to participate in the joys of our institute remembering our beloved founder on his birthday we ask you to bless all of us and especially the food that is going to be a moment where we participate bless the food bless all of us bless those who prepared for it for us and bless everyone who has contributed his or her share in preparing this food for us we make this prayer in your holy name you who live and reign forever and ever amen in the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen Thank you, Your Lordship. Please remain standing for the institution anthem. seated as there are few announcements 
I request you all to proceed to the counters marked for you as per the color of your dinner coupon. That is, two counters in white for guests and teaching faculty, four counters in yellow for the hospital and non-teaching staff, four counters in pink for medical college and...